Hello there, my name is Mac Horse, and welcome to Blockbuster Models series. In this video, I'll show you how to import a Blockbench model into Blockbuster. Let's go. So here, we have a police car shared in DMs by Maid, from my Discord server, he was generous to let me use his car model for this video. Anyways, here we have a model, with multiple textures used. All you have to do here, is to export the model to OBJ. Go to Blockbuster's models folder. You should know where it is from second episode of BB Academy. Create a new folder, and export it there as a file named model.obj. If you have Blockbuster 1.6.4 or above, you can call it whatever you want. But if it's an older version, call it exactly model.obj. Now go to your Blockbench exported model folder, and that should be it for this section. Now let's import this model in Blender, and see if everything is okay with the model. Everything looks fine, the car looks in the same direction as the green arrow, and there is only one object, however, the model is under the floor level, let's elevate it, so it would be above the floor. The scale seems to be good, and now let's see if the materials and texture is working. Yeah, it looks perfect. Now, if you made any changes to the model in Blender, make sure to re-export it in OBJ format. Make sure that right materials checkbox is enabled. I repeat, it should be enabled. If you didn't change the model, then skip export process. Now let's go to Minecraft, and let's see if the model is working. Oh, purple and black, nice. But don't worry, this is an expected result. That happened because we didn't set up the material textures yet, so let's get to setting it up. So, since we checked right materials, and because of that .mtl file was generated, Blockbuster will be looking for models textures in a different way. If we'll look into skins folder, you'll see there are new folders created by Blockbuster. The way it works is Blockbuster looks up the MTL file, and for every material defined there, that has a map underscore KD line below, before next material, it will use a default.png file in the folder named after the material in the skins folder of the model. So what we have to do now, is to manually drag and drop corresponding texture files from the Blockbench's model folder to the materials folder, and then rename the file to default.png, even if the file's extension is not PNG. Once you finish transferring material textures to correct folders, go back to Minecraft, and either restart Minecraft, or execute command model clear, and if you correctly dragged over the textures, then it should appear correctly. You can use this model anywhere in the morph system now. If your Blockbench model has only one texture, you can skip the whole material texture setup process by removing the MTL file, and dragging the only texture into the skins folder. Well that's basically it, this tutorial covered two things, how to export a model from Blockbench, and how to set up materials and their textures. If you'll have issues with model loading process, please don't comment on this video, go on my discord server. Helping with model loading in YouTube comments is a nightmare. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.